welcome back guys uh, today we are going to start uh, our palo alto migration continue okay as you know we are going to take migration from cisco asa to palo alto firewall okay so yesterday we had take the configuration from our asa firewall and palo alto firewall so now guys today we are going to complete this migration with the help of palo alto expedition tool okay uh this one is the palo alto expedition 1.1.10 version okay because before this we have uh, uh, another version uh, but in that we have a um, few bugs and so uh, things are not properly working with that tool so palo alto introduced this expedition tool okay guys so let me show you about this tool how it will work okay this one is it's a dashboard so no need to do anything here so you have to click on the project and you have to create a new project here okay just give the name of this project uh wait guys wait one minute oh okay so here we have to give the name as to paul alto firewall and create project <coughs> Okay, guys. So you can see this uh, project is ready. Now we have to double-click on this project and open it. Okay. So now our next task we have to upload the configuration of our Palo Alto firewall and next one from which one vendor you want to migrate. As you can see here, we have multiple vendor CSV, Checkpoint, Cisco, Fortigate, IBM, XGS, Juniper, Fortin. Uh, force point sorry okay so first of all guys here we have to upload the palo alto configuration if you have zip file so you can upload from here if you have simple xml file so upload from here we have xml file palo alto 01 select so our configuration is uploading it will be redirect us to this dashboard okay here it will be show us the all the policy, service, interface, whatever is the available on your configuration. Okay, after that, go back again on the import. Now we have to import Cisco ASA configuration. We have a configuration in text format, so we have to upload from here. If you have zip file, so you can, uh, zip file, uh, multiple zip file. So you can upload from here, okay? So browse, upload, open, okay? So guys, it will really take some time. Uh, time. Mm. Straight. I don't know, guys. This one is showing log out. So let me log on. Its a name is admin. Follow Alto. Okay, guys. Wait. Uh, I have to go back again on project. Oh, this one is showing still my project is running in the confusion now we got all the confusion oh not all just we are getting uh, only Palo Alto and uh, you can check here guys ah we have ASA confusion let me upload this yes or all confusion is working fine now you can see guys it, this one will be give you the overview okay total services 87 duplicate 2 unused 80 invalid 9 so guys, it will be show you all the number of things here, your service, address, interface, security zone. And guys, it will be recommend you which one device you have to use as per your configuration. Okay, so you can see here, a selected platform is uh, Palo Alto 3020, but minimum support it is Palo Alto VM50. Okay, so go back guys. Now next, we have to check our object because first of all we have to remove all these unused and duplicate object for that you have to go here in the object tab and just simply click on this tab and you have to delete all the unused object now we have just only the screen one okay now go back in services we have multiple services here but we didn't have uh, uh, anyone unused unused service here Okay, service is clear. Okay, and after that, guys, we have to check our policies. 
Okay, this one is our inside to outside policy. Perfect. Then we check the net policy. Okay, guys, this one is the auto net from inside to outside translated with gigabyte zero slash zero IP addresses. This one is also perfect. Now we have to check our interfaces. Okay, so guys, we are not going to change the management interface configuration. If I change, I lost the connectivity because it will be change the IP address. Okay, so now next, what we have to do? We have to change this gigabyte Ethernet because in Palo Alto we have Ethernet one slash one interface. Perfect. IP address outside. If you want to make changes, if you want to change IP address, so you can manually change here. Okay. Done. Okay, so next, let me change also this one. This with one slash two. Okay. So if you remember in the net policy, this one is showing translated with gigabyte ethernet one slash one. So let's check that policy again. Is that translated with this ethernet one slash one or not? Okay, so go back on that net. Now you can see this translate, um, it will be automatically changed from gigabyte to ethernet. Okay, so this configuration change is done. So next here guys, one more thing we have to check this virtual route, okay? So virtual route vsys1. In this we have two interface. After that we have to check our default route, which one we are using for the, make the connectivity with the internet, okay? And this thing is properly working. Perfect, default gateway is perfect. Okay, so everything is done now. Let's see the policy. As you can see in the Cisco SA we are, creating the policy from any zone to outside. This one is working, guys. If you notice here, we didn't mention this outside zone. What happened basically on the Cisco ASA, we give the name to the interface. In the Palo Alto, that interface name is translated with the zone. Okay, so it will be take that outside interface name as a outside zone, inside interface name as a in, inside zone. So you can check this thing here. If you check here zone, inside, inside, outside, okay? So that means our uh, interface name is changed with the zone, okay? So guys, la last step, we have to export our configuration. But before export, we have to push this configuration from here to here, basic Palo Alto configuration. So first of all, we will push this interface to the network. Okay, and interface, virtual route, done. After that in the virtual system, object, policy, and zone. Once you put all these uh, configuration tab from this, uh, Cisco ASA to Palo Alto. After that, you can see there is a ready status and you have to click on the merge. Okay, so it will take some time. This one is the done. Now guys, we have to generate XMLA file. Okay, so click here, initializing. So this one is done. Uh, suppose that if you are not getting this download option, uh, let me download from here. Okay, uh, sometime uh, this one is not showing this download option. In that case, you can download from here. Just wait, let me close this. You can download from here. Okay, so guys, now you can see our migration file is ready. Let me check. It should be in the download folder. Okay, so this one is the our configuration file in the XMLA format. As you know, our Palo Alto firewalls support the XMLA file. Now in the next lecture, we will be put this configuration on our Palo Alto firewall. Okay, I see you in the next lecture.